In 2016, I made a video where I calculated the value of my Mac collection back then. And now, three years later, I came across this vid again and I thought, why not, why not do it again? Um, also, back then, I used a website to kind of get an idea how much the Macs were worth. But even back then, it was kind of bullshit and this website still exists, but <laughs> these prices are just not, not, not relevant anymore. They're just way too high, in my opinion. Uh, so I will just give you a number of what I think they're worth and um, what I would sell them for. Also, I know this is gonna probably spank a lot of controversy and, and, and you will probably argue back and forth, oh, this is not worth so much, and oh, this is worth more. But you gotta respect, I live in Austria and some prices are probably way, way different than in the USA or, or Germany even, or, you know. This is only based from my country. I've Googled every Mac, on some local websites and how, how much they go for and also eBay listings and so I kind of you know figured it out by myself so here we go we'll start with the newest Mac I have and also my most valuable Mac and that is a 2010 yes that's my latest Mac I have uh, iMac 27 inch we recently upgraded with an i7 uh, and it's also got an SSD so I think it's 450 euros worth. Argue back and forth, yes, it's an old Mac, but it's still very capable. I still use it every day. And also, it's still working brilliantly. So I think 450 with the i7 and the SSD and also 10 gigs of RAM is a fair price for it, even though it's old and not even supported anymore in Mojave. Then we got my 2007 MacBook Pro. Um, I would sell it for 130 bucks. Why that? It has an SSD and it does not have the uh, risk of uh, the graphics chip failure because mine is fixed. Then we continue with my white 2006 iMac. We replaced the dead hard drive with a 500 gig. Um, and I would say it goes around 95 euros. I think that's a fair price. It's in very pristine condition. It works, um, but it's old. It's an 06 model. However, it's still an Intel. So I would say 95 for this Core 2 Duo white iMac is fine. Next up, we got my iMac G3 Ruby. Even though it's looking beautiful, it is broken. It has this weird issue where it just will not boot when it's when it stand up normally. And when you flip it on its head, it boots up. And if you think I bullshit you, go watch my video on it. It's hilarious. But because of this issue, and um, probably needs a, a, a logic board swap, because of this, I think it's only worth 15 bucks. Um, not anymore. I would not give it away for more. It would just be a scam, in my opinion. Then let's continue with my Power Max. We got, first of all, the Power Mac G4 the base model from 1999, I think. And this is probably the most boring one I have, so I would sell it for around 35. It's really nothing special, it works fine. Um, and it's it's great, but it's just not worth anything more. Story looks a little different on my Quicksilver because it's way faster and also it has an upgraded GPU and hard drive and more RAM, so I would sell it for 10 bucks more, 45 euros. And finally, the most valuable Power Mac, uh, I know that surprises probably some of you guys, is my G3 blue and white. This is sort of uh, rare in Austria, and so I would sell it for 50 bucks. Because it's rare, I restored it to nice condition, and it works. So 50 bucks is, I think, totally justified. Now let's continue with my power PC laptops. We'll start with the iBook G4. It's a 12 inch, one gigahertz model with a stock hard drive. It works fine, but it's far from being anything special. And so I would sell it for 40 bucks. 
Next we got probably my favorite PowerPC laptop. It was also my personal laptop for a couple of years. That is the 15 inch PowerBook G4 with an SSD. Very rare thing to have in a PowerBook an SSD. And because of this reason only, I would sell it for 75 euros. It's got almost no scratches, no dings and dents, unlike my 07 MacBook Pro, for example. Um, and uh, it's, the battery still sort of works. So I think 75 euros is fine. Then let's continue with its bigger brother, the 17 inch model. Um, it also works fine. However, it's a little slower and Again, these laptops are really nothing special, so I think 50 euros is the way to go. Now let's move on with the remaining iMac G3s. We'll start with the G3 Snow. I'm told by some of you guys that the Snow is in fact one of the more rare iMac G3s. I didn't know that, but it needs a hard drive. The hard drive in it passed away unfortunately a couple of months ago when I tried to boot it. And so with this dead hard drive, and also it has no optical drive, by the way, I think it's only worth 20 bucks, 20 euros. It would need fixing. So yeah, then we get the Indigo. That one is working absolutely flawless. It's got 512 megs of RAM and OS 10 Tiger and a new faster hard drive and a working optical drive. And because of all of this, I would sell it for 40 euros. Now comes actually a machine that is maybe worth a little bit. Um, and that is my iMac G3 Bondi Blue. I even have the original keyboard and mouse for it. So that also adds to the value. It's even got the door and it's in pristine condition and it works with its original configuration. So 130 euros is maybe even too less, but that's what I would sell it for. And also, since the tray loaders seem to be more valuable in my country, I would sell the G3 Lime I have for 100 bucks. It doesn't have any accessories, but it, it works and it's looking absolutely flawless. There's nothing wrong with it at all. No scratches, no dings or anything. So 100 euros is fine. Then we go to somewhat a special machine, the Emac. Now, this one is special indeed. I have this new paint job uh, in black, which makes it very, very exclusive. Probably the only one on the planet, but I don't think it really added to, me, to the value. Um, I think it is more the opposite. So uh, even though it works, I would only sell it for 40 euros since this paint job is far from being perfect. And also any collector would not want to touch this. So. This is probably unsellable, but I think it's still worth 40 euros. Now for the last few, we will continue with my second most valuable Mac. That is my Macintosh Classic 2. I'm a very proud owner of this machine. It is working. Unfortunately though, I don't have a single input device for it. So no keyboard and no mouse, but I know that it works. And when I went on eBay and checked for some listings, I was shocked that this is so valuable. So I would sell it for 220 euros and it it will not be sold. I really love this machine. I would like to use it one day when I find a keyboard for it, <laughs> maybe so. But still, this is one of the machines that has actually gone up in value and not down like almost every other computer I have. <laughs> also a vintage Mac that is probably going to go up in value is my PowerBook 180C. It needs a hard drive, but it boots and it's in really nice condition for its age. And so I would sell it for 150 euros. And if it had the hard drive, it would probably maybe even go above 200 if I have it running with an operating system and everything. So this is also a candidate that can get very valuable in a couple of years down the road. And last but not least, we got a Mac that is basically nothing else than a pile of trash. That is my PowerBook G3. It will never work again. It has an unknown motherboard problem and it's completely torn apart and I lost all screws, but still I decided to uh, 
listed here since this is a, this is a Mac after all, but it is not worth anything. So I, I said like five euros just to have it in there, but this is unsellable. Nobody will touch this. So this will probably go into trash. So these were all of my Macintoshes. I've got 18 Macintoshes in total. And the total value of my collection is 1,690 euros. Yeah, not all that much. <laughs> the thing is, I was honestly shocked how much it is. Last time I did this, uh, the iMac G3s were like rock bottom. They weren't worth anything, but now I, I saw like the the prices are steadily like slowly rising for these because these are becoming very old and vintage and so even though there are a lot of these around they will maybe in a couple of years go up in value also um the the mac classic 2 i have and the, the powerbook the old one are real serious vintage machines but then again i have got so many that aren't worth anything and I don't think they will be unless like you wait for another 20 years <laughs> so I don't really have any serious expensive Macintoshes in my collection I don't buy them for this purpose um, also the only like the, the only stock one I have is is the Mac Classic 2 all the other ones are modified some of them are heavily modified so they're all far from stock no, actually, take that back. The Bondi Blue is also still original. But other than those two, all of them have been worked on. All of them have been opened. So, you know, this, this also is not really appealing to a lot of collectors. And also, I don't have any boxes except my 27-inch iMac. I've got a lot of keyboards, but still not the original ones for most of the computers. So this... This explains why these aren't worth all that much. Because when you go on eBay and you see, for example, an iMac G3 still in the box or maybe with the original box and all the booklets, this is worth like double the price easily than mine, which is just standing there and, you know, not having anything except itself. Um, but then again, I'm not one of these collectors who just buys it and then lets it rot on a shelf or so. I actually like doing projects with my computers and I'm not buying these to make money, to make profit or to increase them in value. Um, I, I just buy them because I like them. So yeah guys, this is my video update on my uh, Mac collection value. I can do the same for the PCs I have. I've got tons of PCs too, but the problem is these aren't really worth anything. I don't have a single PC that is really worth serious money except maybe my main computer. So, you know, this is probably boring for you. But the Macs are always interesting. They seem to hold the value pretty good when you compare it to P the PCs. But still, I don't have any very special ones. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you later.